Hey, what's up, True Web community? Vasily here with a new video. Today we are going to be talking about ARC721-C, the newest standard to enforce on-chain royalties for your NFT project. In this video first, I'm going to explain you what the standard is and why it's important, then we are going to discover the amazing new feature we just released at TIRWEB, Modular Contracts, and how you are going to use them to deploy this new standard, and finally I'm going to show you how you can deploy your own using our dashboard with just few steps. So I hope you are ready because we are just getting started. Ok, let's get started talking about ERC721 or the regular standard for NFTs. You might heard of about NFTs because they got really popular the recent years. And we have a pretty nice video explaining all the basics about the base standard. But basically, for those of you who are not familiarized it, NFTs ensure you that you have true ownership on your digital assets and allows you to trade with them freely. Now, here's the thing with NFTs currently. There is a big issue with royalties. The creators of the collection are supposed to get royalties for each resale that is made, but current NFT standards don't enforce that. You end up with marketplaces that can bypass this royalty. So basically, you won't see a dime for each resale that is made. Also, the current standards don't prevent market manipulation. This happens when a bad actor buys and sells an NFT collection to themselves basically using different wallets. This is made to artificially inflate the prices of the collection, and this practice is known as wash trading. These things aren't good either for the creators or the market itself. That's why Limit Break came up with a really interesting solution, the ERC721-C standard. This standard enforces royalties directly on-chain, no workarounds. So regardless the marketplace your assets are being sold, you are going to get royalties for them. And this standard also prevents the market manipulation, implementing limits on how these assets could be traded. At the end, this new standard gives back the control to the creators of the NFTs on how their assets are being transferred and how the royalties are managed. So this represents a huge step forward both for creators and for the market. Now let's suppose you want to implement this new standard to your existing projects. You are in troubles. The reason is because the blockchain is immutable and once a contract is deployed or once a transaction is sent, that's it, you cannot change it. And technically, yes, we have things like upgradable smart contracts. They are really hard to maintain and will get you more than one headache. That's why we need an easy way to iterate over our projects. While your project evolves with you, you are going to need to add new functionalities and new features. And to accomplish that, I'm pleased to announce the new feature which has launched Modular Contracts. These Modular Contracts will allow you to do exactly that, adding new functionalities to your contracts as you please and with just few steps. You can think about Modular Contracts as they were LEGO blocks. First, you have a base LEGO block or the core smart contract. In this case, it would be the base ERC721 contract. And in top of it, you start adding module contracts that increase the functionalities. So for example, you want to make your ERC721 to be mintable? Well, you just take the minting module and you add it on top of the core contract. You want the collection to be claimable? Well, you can just take the claiming module and add it on top of it. For the ERC721-C, you just need to take the royalties module and add it on top of the base contract. And what's amazing about modular contracts is that you can add or remove these functionalities at any time. So now that we have the context about the new standard and what modular contracts are, let's see how we can deploy them with easy steps using their web dashboard. So here I am on the main tier web page. Let's click on get started. And this will allow me to connect using any existing wallet on the market or a traditional method such as Google account. Let's select MetaMask, which is one of the most popular ones used. Let's click on sign in. I need to sign this transaction. And now my wallet is directly connected to tier web. So in order for us to deploy that ERC721-C, let's click on the deploy button we have over here. 
This will open me an interface such as this one. I already connected my wallet and I'm ready to start deploying my contracts. If you are familiarized with Thiro Web interface, you are going to recognize this interface over here that will allow you to deploy easily different types of contracts, such as an NFT drop, an account factory, a token, etc. But in this case, we have a new section, the modular contracts beta. This will allow me to create these modular contracts with a core based contract. In this case, the base is going to be the ERC721 smart contract. And on top of it, we are going to be adding the modules. What's interesting about this is that if I select this modular NFT drop and I click deploy, the royalties module or the functionality that will make this ERC721 base into a ERC721-C is automatically added. Let me show you how this works. First thing first, let's select an image for my NFT project. Let's click here. Let's select a name, for example, Pair NFT Royalties by TureWeb. Let's select a symbol, for example, FNRPT or whatever symbol you liked, and let's set up a description. In this case, I selected the coolest NFT with fair royalties by Tirwin. Then we must select the owner. By default, it's going to select the same wallet address I used for signing in. And then we have this section. As I said, using this option, this is going to automatically add the royalties module to our project. So basically, we need to decide, okay, which is going to receive those royalties. Of course, if I'm the creator of the contract, I will want that royalties to come directly to me and I can select the fee. So for example, I can say I want 5% on any transaction anyone does when they trade with my assets. Then we have the ability to select a validator. So for example, if you want to limit the amount of trades people make with your collection, you can select a wallet address, which is going to be the responsible for validate those transactions. In this case, I'm going to keep the address zero in order to not using a validator. Then we can select the chain as I'm using a testnet right now. I'm going to keep on Cephalia and let's click on deploy now. This is going to trigger a transaction on my wallet, so let's wait. And then we need to sign again because this is going to add the information of our contract to the dashboard. So let's click on confirm. And once this is done, I can click directly on view my contracts. This is going to open the dashboard for me. And here I'm going to have all the information of my NFTs. First, we have, of course, the title, we are going to have the analytics. What is actually interesting here is this new section called modules. And as I said, the royalty ERC721 is going to be automatically added to this project. So basically this NFT project is in essence a ERC721-C. As you saw, the process was really easy. And what's amazing about the modular contrast is that I can add or remove these functionalities at any time. So for example, I don't want this project to be claimable. I can click on the delete option, click on uninstall, and this is going to automatically remove that module for me. Of course, I will need to sign a transaction. So I'm going to click on confirm. Mind the gas fees if you are going to add or remove modules. But as easy as that, my NFT is not claimable anymore. What if I want to add the module again? It's easy. You need to first specify the publisher address. In this case, I'm going to select Tiroweb as the publisher. So let's paste the address over here. And this is going to automatically list all the available modules this publisher has. So for example, if I click here on Mintable ERC20, of course, as this is an NFT project, this module is not going to be compatible. So you need to select a compatible module. In this case, let's add again that claimable ERC721. We can select the version for that module and we need to select the address for the primary cell recipient. Of course, I want that to be my cell. So let's copy my wallet address again, paste it over here and click on install. This is going to add again that functionalities to our smart contract. Once the transaction is completed, that claimable ERC721 module is already added to the contract. 
For the rest of the dashboard, you're going to find all the functionalities we explain on our base ERC721 video I highly recommend you to watch if you are not familiarized with it. That was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Now you have the ability to deploy your own NFT collection with fair royalties for you, the creator. And you can do it with just few steps using the third web dashboard. And for those of you advanced developers, we offer an extensive model contracts library. You can clone it from our GitHub. And if you want a video about how to implement that on the technical side using Foundry or Hardhat, let us know in the comments below and we will make it happen. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next occasion. See ya!